So I'm joined today with uh, Lisa Denny and uh, Jenny Bennett, and they are organizers of the Walk for Max, and they're raising money for uh, Max, this little boy in Fairview. First of all, ladies, before we talk about the walk itself, can you just tell me about uh, Max and the condition that he's in right now? Um, well, Max is nearing his second birthday, um, and he was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy type 2, also known as SMA type 2. Um, it's a rare debilitating disease. Um, he's going to have issues breathing, walking, swallowing. Eventually, without this treatment, he's not going to be able to stand or sit on his own. Um, so the treatment um, that there is for this is a $2.8 million treatment that he has to have before his second birthday, January 11th of 2021. So we are in a race against time here for him. And the treatment will allow him to have a better quality of life as well as a longer life. So how did you two first hear about uh, Max and his, uh, his case? Um, there was actually a post shared on Art, Soul and Life's page on Facebook. Um, he's got a cousin with that company. So that's how, how we had heard about it. And uh, you two obviously decided now to organize a walk to try and raise uh, some money to help for the, towards this treatment. Can you guys just tell me a bit of what's happening this Sunday? Can you tell me a bit about uh, when it'll be, where it'll be, and uh, how people can take part? Uh, yeah, we're going to hold it uh, Sunday at 1 o'clock. Uh, we'll be meeting on the east end um, at the co-op gas station. And then we'll make our way all the way to the west end of the Hampton Inn back to the gas station at our starting point. Um, we do have a donation bin that will be set up from 1245 to 145 at the gas station. And again, from three till four at that gas station. And is there any other way for people to contribute, say maybe if they're not here in Lloydminster or they don't wanna you know, go out on that day? Um, to do an e-transfer, it's sick, S-Y-C-H, at ualberta.ca. Now, I may not be correct on the pronunciation of that. So, but they can do an e-transfer directly to the family. Awesome. And yeah. obviously this is an important cause. Uh, and I think anyone that hears about this story is gonna, you know, their heart's gonna go out to them and they're gonna wanna contribute. Uh, for you two personally, what about this case in particular encouraged you guys to wanna do your part? Um, we just like to do what we can to help out in the community. And as a mother, I would do anything in my power if I was in that position to be able to help my child. So why can't we team up and help the other child, someone else's. And obviously you guys mentioned too, this is a race against time as he needs this treatment yeah. for his second birthday. Uh, are there other campaigns to support, uh, raise money for this treatment going on uh, across the province? I did see on the families, uh, Facebook page, it's Moving Mountains or uh, Mighty Max. And there is uh, all sorts of auctions where people are uh, making things and, and selling things and trying to come up with different ways to fundraise for him. And what was that Facebook page again? Uh, it's called Moving Mountains for Mighty Max. All right. And so people, that is another place where people can uh, contribute and support in other ways as well. Yeah, you bet. Um, if you can just join that group. I think it's set up as a, a group. So you just join that group and you can see what they're offering for things and help out in a, in a different way that way. Awesome. And is there anything else that you guys would really want to get across today? Uh, just supporting. You know, it doesn't matter that Max lives in Fairview. He obviously has a relative in Lake Minster. Uh, being in a smaller community and just with the situation um, with the last year with COVID and kind of desperate times for a desperate call for desperate measures, but at the same time coming together, uh, banding as a unit and it doesn't matter, matter if it's one of us, two of us, just trying to show our support um, as best we can. And Alicia, do you have any final thoughts? Um, I just wanted to actually extend the invite uh, for anybody else who might like to go out for a walk that day. It's supposed to be nice outside. So if anybody wants to join us, feel free, the more the merrier. Um, we just ask that if you can distance yourself a little bit, distance yourself as well as wear a mask. And just before we go, if you guys could go over again the time and uh, where you guys are going to be meeting up on Sunday. 
Uh, Sunday, 1 p.m., co-op gas station on the east side, all the way to the Hampton Inn on the west end, and then back. Awesome. Thank you both for joining me today, and I wish you guys the best of luck as you guys are uh, working hard for an important cause. Thank you. Thank you.